What's up, cooks? One of the things that I have trouble with in my kitchen is I just get way too many appliances in there. And when I find something that's multifunction that can get rid of a lot of different appliances and put it all in one package, that totally makes me happy. It frees up a lot of room for work, right, in the kitchen. Today, we have a very interesting product from Toshiba. This is a microwave, but it also is an air fryer. So you can do both of those two functions in one appliance. I'm interested to check this out. We're gonna microwave and then we're gonna air fry something um, and make us a little snack. So join me. Let's check out this Toshiba microwave with air fryer. So I'm really interested in trying this out. I've never used microwave with an air fryer. I think it's a really interesting concept because if you can get those multiple things in one appliance, that means it's not gonna take so much room in your kitchen, particularly if you have a smaller kitchen. We're gonna be using this down in the new studio kitchen, so it's gonna come in really handy, so you'll be seeing it there. Um, I just wanna take this opportunity to thank Toshiba for sending this so we could try it out. Um, there'll be links down in the description for this air fryer microwave, right? So this microwave oven has 1500 watts, it air fries, crispy grills, microwaves. It has a warmer, a dehydrator, and a yogurt maker inside of microwave, right? That's amazing. So I'm going to get this out of the box so we can try it out. So we're going to, I'm, I kind of want some tea, so I'm going to microwave some tea. I'm going to microwave some, a quick dinner for Eric. He loves mac and cheese, and there's so many times that I'm, busy he's busy we can't make it so he needs something that he can throw in the uh, microwave because he works from home right and then we're going to air fry we're going to air fry a little after afternoon snack right you can have for your kids we're going to do a little chicken nuggets and some fries right so let me get this out of the box so we can take a look at it Okay, so we got the microwave out of the box. This thing is pretty cool. I like the looks of it. Um, it comes with really cool manuals. One of the things about some of these appliances is you don't get like a recipe book with it. And it's great that this comes with that. It has your manual, right, that tells you all the functions, how to use, you know, um, the air fryer portion, a little warning about not putting metal in here when you're running on a microwave function. And it also has a little cookbook. And this is really cool. I'm so glad that they include this. It gives you some times and temperatures for your basic uh, air fryer sort of thing. So if you want to do, um, you know, a grilled cheese sandwich, egg rolls, French toast sticks, chicken nuggets, all that. Those are common things. And it gives you some recipes. So French toast, breakfast pizza, grilled cheese sandwiches, Ooh. egg rolls, meatballs. So one of the great things about this is the biggest complaint about microwaves is you can't get that crispiness. So you could microwave something and then air fry it so you can crisp it up. If you microwave something and you want to melt cheese on top, um, even if it's leftovers, you have some kind of leftovers you want to freshen it with some more melted cheese on the top, you could microwave it and then air fry it so you get kind of that crispy with the cheese instead of just the softness, right, of everything. Um, this is amazing. So there are some goodies on the inside, so let's check it out. So let's see what kind of goodies are in here. Ooh, okay. So it comes with this ring that the plate, this is for microwaving. And then you have your plate that goes in here. So it does have a spinning turntable, which is nice. 
So this is a rack that you're going to be using for air frying. You have to make sure that you don't turn the microwave function on when this metal is in here. Um, you also have this little plate that can go up here for air frying. That's pretty cool. Um, awesome. So this actually has a grilling feature if you put the broiling function in. So up here there's a a heating element and you can actually broil grill a steak in here like you would a regular oven um, and you can do the air frying so the interior of this microwave is stainless steel so it makes it very easy to clean it's just like wipe down friendly so what we're going to do is we're going to wash this and we're going to wash these things and then first we're going to just do a quick little microwaving and then we're going to do some air frying. So we'll be right back. So if you're someone that likes presets on your air fryer, this system has it. There's a little chart on what code you use for each type of preset. So I know a lot of people love presets. They want to just hit the button and boom, right? With the machine telling you, um, how long to cook something at what temperature you can do that with this air fryer it has a preset air fry presets and then you you're going to take it to the code number of the food that you have and this is the little guide right here on the microwave so it, you know those presets that i told you you can use those on the auto menu and the home fry so if you hit home fry you're going to pick the type of food you're going to get your preset and it's going to air fry like that if you want to do a manual air fry you're going to hit air fry you're going to pick your temperature the temperature goes all the way up to 425 um we're going to we click that button we're going to go ahead and put the amount of time that we want to air fry and we go and we got air frying a lot of great features you do have this combi which does a combination <laughs> microwaving and air frying i've never seen anything do that so if you want to do your dehydrating you got your low temp cook setting you have a defrost setting you can bake you can grill and broil you can popcorn right we love that there's a timer here that we all need on our microwave and this actually has an odor removal setting so you can freshen up your microwave so the very first thing we're going to do is i want to do some tea so i'm going to do some tea we're going to make eric his mac and cheese and then we're going to air fry me a little snack a couple chicken nuggets and some fries so let me wash this up and we'll be back so the first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to do what everybody does with the microwave. We're just going to heat a cup of water um, for some tea, right? So we're going to go ahead and open the microwave. We're going to put in our cup of tea here or a cup of water. And I'm just going to do this for two minutes. So we're going to hit one, two, three, four, two minutes. Okay, we're done here. Woo! It's nice and hot here. And I'm gonna just really quick put my tea bag in there. And I'm going to put a little of the honey bear in there. This is local honey from our area. Mm. Wow, so I have some nice hot tea. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Okay, next let's try out some mac and cheese. Okay, so I just have this microwave dinner. This is mac and cheese, creamy macaroni with real cheddar and American cheese. So whether you buy these quick heating, you know, meals, or you do meal prepping and you freeze your own. You know, a lot of us need a quick meal that we can just grab, microwave, and go. You know, it's a reality of our busy lives. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. 
As a matter of fact, you know, I work a lot and many times we just have to microwave some lunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back here and we're going to put in here. So we're going to put it in for three minutes. We're going to take it out and stir, put it in for one minute, take it out and stir, and then put it in for two more minutes. So... Three minutes, we'll be back for the first stir. Okay, our first stir. Just gonna take it out here. Ooh, so this is what we have so far. Woohoo, right? So we're gonna stir. This has got cheddar and American cheese. So it's going back in for another minute real quick. One more quick stir. This one touch little bing bing. I like that. So it says let stand for two minutes prior to serving. So we're going to go timer. And I'm going to put it on two minutes. And we'll let it sit here for two minutes. Okay, let's see. Whoa, it's very hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Let me stick the probe in here. One seventy eight. Yeah. So I put it in here for two more minutes. Sometimes the uh, because microwaves vary. The amount of time that they list on here is sometimes not totally accurate. Wow! So it's very hot and cheesy. You want to try it, Eric? Sure. <laughs> yeah, Eric has no problem with that, right? Let me take my tea. One of the things I can say about microwave dinners, because a lot of people don't like to buy microwave dinners, but if you do meal prepping and you freeze your own meals, so that if you work from home, if you have kids, those things are ready to go in the microwave. So I suggest making your own mac and cheese, putting them in little containers and putting them in the freezer. So you will have homemade mac and cheese right out of your microwave. That's the best solution than obviously the, um, the mass produced meals, right? But a microwave is, it's a great thing. We all need one. I use mine primarily for softening butter, <laughs> but in reheating stuff, it's great. So now it's time to air fry. So let me go grab some chicken nuggets and some French fries. Okay, so I have some chicken bites and some French fries here. I'm just gonna take some of this olive oil spray and I'm gonna give them a little spray. I do that because you know, that gives us a little crispiness. So we're gonna put this in the microwave air fryer. Okay, so we're gonna open up the microwave air fryer. Mm. So we could do auto. Um, we have chicken, we have chicken and fries. I'm gonna go air fry and I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna do this at 375 and I'm gonna do it for I don't know. I think I'm, let me just put it 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and we'll see. We'll check it. Woo, I hear sizzling. Sizzling. Chicken's at 1.30. So we need to go a little bit longer. So
so I'm gonna go ahead, 375. The thing is, I'm not cooking it as high as a lot of people cook um, in an air fryer. Well, I'm just gonna check it halfway through. So that was five minutes. I believe the chicken is probably done and the fries will probably pop back in here because the fries usually have to cook a little hotter than I cooked them. So the nuggets are done. Guys, we are air frying in a microwave. <laughs> I'm gonna increase the temp on this to like 425 and we'll be back. Ooh, ooh. ooh we got fries. Looking good. Smells like fries. Ooh, we got fries. Awesome. So I'll plate this up and then we'll talk about the cooker. Okay, cooks. Eric stuck a burrito in the microwave. Where's my he had snack? this frozen chimichanga. So he he's he put that in the, on air fryer, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have our chicken nuggets here. I have a little dipping sauce. This is a Hellman's dipping sauce. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Mmm. So that's one great thing about this microwave air fryer is you can microwave stuff and then air fry it and get that crispy. Like when we made the um, a steakhouse uh, baked potato, you can microwave it and then air fry it and crisp it up so you get that nice steakhouse flavor. Um, wow. Nice and crispy, really, really good. Um, French fries. Mm. You were able to cook combo foods that had different mm -hmm cooking times and temperatures. The auto feature had two different zones. You didn't know which one to pick, so you did it manual, and you manually did it, and they turned yeah, out great. Turned out really good. Um, so do I think that this replaces a standalone air fryer? I think that this takes longer than a regular air fryer. I think you get the same results. It takes a little longer, but if you are someone that it has a smaller kitchen or you don't have a lot of counter space and you don't want a lot of appliances junking up your kitchen. Or even like me, I have a fairly decent sized kitchen, but I don't like having a lot of appliances out on my countertops. If you can get a multifunction appliance like this, I think it's a great thing. The fact that this is a microwave that can air fry is absolutely amazing to me. It keeps that clutterness down in your kitchen. One appliance does all these things. I think it's a great, a great option for a lot of people. Um, we're going to be using this down in the studio kitchen, and it's going to be great. Yeah, you only do auto. Some people like so it does both. So you have those options. Um, I think it's awesome. So thank you, Toshiba. Um, I'll put links down in the description. Seriously, a microwave air fryer combo. It's amazing, right? Links will be down in the description if you want to take a look at it. So Eric's <laughs> cooking his burrito, so as soon as it's done, he'll give you the little crispy test to see how it comes out. I hope you enjoyed this. I am going to eat my snack. Oh, boo, there's your burrito. It looks good. It's crispy. Yeah, it's got a little crispy stuff there. I mean, if you do it in the microwave, it's probably going to be a little on the mushy side. Yeah, the microwave is not going to give so it you, any browning. You, you